mathematicians have known a secret fact that they're not telling you. But I'm about to let you in on an exclusive piece of information that may change your life. Not all numbers are created equal. Now, some numbers get more love than others. Nature's favorite? One. One is the number. The simple fact is that one shows up a lot. Ones that occupy the first digit on this random population table are circled in red. Note also that comparatively, there are just a few nines. The nines that occupy the first digit are circled in blue. Not only are ones the most frequent number in a typical data set, but nines are the most infrequent. This can be expressed as one is greater than nine. Changed my life. You can find them in data sets for lengths of rivers, birth rates, death rates, street addresses, molecular weights, tallest building heights, including meters and feet, and what not. This interesting phenomenon was first discovered by Simon Newcomb in 1881. However, his publicist wasn't the best there ever was, so luckily it was later rediscovered by Frank Benford in 1938, which is why it's called Benford's Law, which is in and of itself an example of Stigler's Law, stating, no scientific discovery is named after its original discoverer, which may be why most people have never heard of that guy or his law before. Regarding the prevalence of ones, Benford's Law of Newcomb's, as we shall call it henceforth, it's time to ask WTF. When a number grows arithmetically from 0 to 9, the probability that the first digit is a 1 is a 1 in 9 for the first 9 digits. But once you get past the number 9, look at all of those 1s! From 1 to 19, 11 of the numbers begin with a 1. In order for the first digit to flip over to a 2, the number will need to grow twice as large as it was when we first moved to double digits. Which is no easy feat. If a number manages to make it all the way into the 90s, which takes a heck of a lot longer than it takes to grow to lesser numbers, let me tell you, it can more easily lead to 100, which means by now it's going to have to grow another 100 units or twice as much just to get to the twos. And that's just arithmetic. Data that relies on geometric and exponential growth also follows that law. Benford's Law of Newcombs is so well established that it's even been used to determine whether financial figures have been falsified in court cases, including the macroeconomic data submitted by Greece before joining the Eurozone. Spoiler alert, it wasn't real. So next time you're gonna try and tweak your taxes or your next report card, remember this, one is greater than nine.